Hello, uh, I'm Rio Terracado. I'm a violinist, um, mainly Baroque violin, uh, classical violin, so to say, uh, historical violin, so that I play always the violin with the gut strings. I teach in The Hague Conservatoire and uh, Brussels, also in Tokyo and in Korea. Uh, I also conduct um, Baroque orchestras, sometimes modern orchestras, so um, this is my simple profile. I am uh, visiting uh, uh, my uh, long-time friend uh, Dmitry Badyarov's uh, violin making atelier and uh, we were working on my violin and uh, the other violin that I uh, have currently, a uh, very precious violin uh, of uh, Andrea Guarneri. Well, I met uh, Dmitry uh, about 25 years ago. Uh, he came to study with um, um, my teacher uh, Sigisvat Kalken and I met Dimitri in uh, uh, Brussels and soon after we started to play together in uh, La Petite Band and um, uh, he is not only a violinist but uh, also a fine violin maker and we uh, started to work together uh, I own actually three of his instruments uh, of course a violin, a baroque violin and a very early style of violin. It was a kind of experiment uh, for him and uh, one violin Spalla. spalla. Uh, well, it's a long story, but uh, I, I have uh, seen his work since years and years and uh, I know any, uh, anybody who, who has this intelligence and uh, this uh, originality in his making. So every time uh, it's fascinating to, to see him and talk to him and see his work. Um, well, I play uh, a lot of uh, a lot of time uh, his spalla. I play uh, uh, cello suite uh, by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, it was his fifth uh, violoncello spalla. Well, uh, when I uh, got to know about this instrument, I get I got really fascinated and asked Dima to to make one of those and he made one for me. Uh, it was all the, the life through uh, exper experiments. First of all the, uh, the strings and then uh, bows and uh, etc and etc. Not only that, we, um, I think uh, we exchanged all, uh, a lot of information of uh, how to play this instrument. So uh, this, is, this was an interesting journey uh, through Violoncello La Spalla. And uh, I, I have uh, a lot of experience with his violins. Uh, I tried many violins. He showed me uh, every time he finished a violin, uh, he showed me. So I tried a, a little bit. So uh, I, I think I know most of uh, his, um, his violins uh, until now. And um, uh, the one I have uh, was made uh, in Japan. Uh, that was a time that he uh, was working on uh, proportions and he has found a beautiful propor proportion and he explained to me and it, it was really fascinating and uh, it was not only the theory and as a result the sound was fantastic and I got in love with this uh, violin and I asked him if I uh, could have this uh, violin and finally I have it and uh, I I play it a lot. It's always the first uh, thing to, to recommend is uh, Dmitry Badyarov because uh, I think of course um, as a violinist it, it is always interesting to have an uh, old violin but uh, at the same time the newly made violin with a, a strong concept is uh, sometimes even more interesting because you are dealing with a um, kind of living uh, creature uh, and you're, you're exchanging uh, the ideas with uh, the living maker. And uh, Dimitri has uh, such uh, unique ideas and his violin is always uh, very, very uh, unique characters. So every violin is different, uh, even from him. But uh, I, I think it's one of the most interesting things to, to encounter his instrument and uh, to to make your musical journey together with his violins. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you liked it and uh, see you next time.